Hello everyone! Welcome once again in our YouTube channel. And um, I remember the last time, yeah, I spoke about my family try a Filipino dish for the first time. What we usually do in our day here in Uganda. So, today, I just want to share with you guys how is the situation here in Uganda during pandemic, especially that we are now in our stage 2 of this COVID-19 pandemic and the Indian variant is also here in Uganda. So the president recently announced a lot of new SOPs to follow. One of them, of course, is uh, not traveling inter-district. So we can only move around our area, but still we really try our best not to go out of the house if it's not really necessary. So I have not shared with you guys the nature of our job or our responsibilities on a daily basis. For me, I'm a stay-at-home mom to just take care of the house and uh, watch the kids, monitor them when they are having online learning. So for my husband, he is an engineer, field supervisor for a, for a company and they focus in this um, communication towers around Uganda and they are considered as essential workers. So for him, he must go for his job, he must go out and because he is also a business businessman and a farmer on the side, he has also a lot of other engagements during his vacant hours. There's just no possibility of him staying home and because we want to minimize the risk of having COVID in our home, since we are all vulnerable here, like for me, I'm pregnant and the kids are very young. All of us, we don't have vaccine. We did to let him stay in our unit downstairs, which is just on the first floor of this building. We have one bedroom. So he stays there for the meantime. Every time he comes back from, from the outside, he goes there directly, do his things like showering and doing his work. We try to avoid engaging with him, especially with the kids. And he prefers it that way as well. And I really understand it because it's just something that we really want to avoid. We don't want any COVID situation in our family. So since he is not staying in this house as a precaution, I managed to take the meals to him and whatever he needs. Okay, now it's already lunchtime. For breakfast, he had a traditional meal, katogo, with matoke and beans and vegetables, and of course, ginger tea and some fruits. Uh, that is very important, especially to, to improve our immune system. I have decided to prepare the Filipino tinola recipe, which is very healthy for everyone. The soup has a lot of spices in it, especially the ginger, and it's a good way to make the kids eat healthy because they don't really know what's in the soup, but there's a lot of ingredients in tinola that is just good and healthy. Here is my chicken tinola right now. It's just boiling. I used pressure cooker to make sure the meat will become as tender. I boiled it together with the spices so the chicken can absorb the, the amazing taste and aroma from those spices. While waiting, I'm just preparing the rest of the vegetables that I want to mix in my tinola. Yesterday, I found this pak choy. In the Philippines, we call it pechay. Very nice for beef and chicken soup. And then, of course, tinola is just so perfect with moringa or malungay leaves. We call it malungay leaves in the Philippines. It's one of our most commonly used vegetables. Okay, our chicken is now ready. So... I'm just adding now the veggies. 
I found out that I have cabbage in the fridge. <laughs> and the more vegetables, the better. Pak choy stock. Let's not overcook our cabbage and the stock of our pak choy. So now we can add the leaves and moringa leaves. Every leaf count, not in twist. <laughs> Takes long time to grow them, you guys. So make sure you're not they're not wasted. So I'm just gonna bring it for 30 second boil and then I'm done. There. Alright. My husband is leaving. He needs to pick a lot of stuff for us and, and one of our friend has COVID. So he will need this medicine. You just give him what he needs. He just started, so I don't know. Maybe he might need more. Okay, I added something on the list. Huh? I hope you can find them. Did you move your Dior sanitizer? Okay. Bye-bye. He's going to get us groceries and vegetables and fruits. Make sure our daily intake is consisted of all those healthy and balanced diet. Now, it's my time to make my lunch. I'm very choosy lately, guys. And I'm sure you have an idea why. This one, for those who are wondering, is the fish ball. Fish ball is very famous street food in the Philippines. And I'm just going to fry them. But first, I'm going to, to slice them thinly. All right. Okay guys, my fish balls are now ready for lunch and it's perfect with this Thai style sweet chili sauce that I found in the supermarket. It's not really authentic, I would say, but it has the taste of garlic and a bit of sweetness in it. So just gonna add some, get my rice. And I think that will satisfy me and my baby for lunch. Let's eat! I finally finished having lunch, guys. And I ate everything that I, have, I had made for myself. I'm very happy about this because the first trimester of my pregnancy was really tricky. And I just lost my appetite. The nausea was too much so i lost a lot of weight but now i can feel that it's coming back and um i'm very happy that i'm able to know what i really want to eat cook it immediately and just enjoy eating it all that way i can gain my weight back and just make sure everything is healthy for me and my baby Calvi, hold tight. Hold tight. Okay, go. Ali, drive. Woo! <laughs> Brum. Brum. Yes. <laughs> you want Peppa Pig? Yeah? Mm. Peppa Pig? Mm. Say please. Please. Alright. 
All right, guys. My husband just came back and he got all these fresh fruits and vegetables. So let's see what we have here. The good thing about them, guys, here in Uganda, they are very cheap. So you can eat all the fresh things without damaging your pocket. You don't have to go to supermarkets and buy those ones in the fridge, but just go to nearby town. The farmers are always there to give you fresh ones. This is newly picked avocado. So you can see them. Some are ready, but some are still unripe. But that's great. So you can keep some. And of course, here, sweet bananas. The kids really love to eat fruits. So every day we have to serve at least one type of fruit on our table. Then carrots, watermelon, some tomatoes. Good tomatoes there. Then there's, what's this one? Oh, oranges. This one is for juice or for steaming. Then we have lemons. Lemons is very good. We are planning to make a tonic that is very good to boost immune system. And I need lemon, ginger, onion, and what else do I need for that one? Honey, yeah. Then these are just vegetables. This one, maybe we have them in Asia, but we don't eat them. So this one, I am not familiar, but this is dodo. This is dodo leaves. These are the greens that they are eating here in Uganda. This is another one, but I don't know the name. And this is buga. Very strong smell, but every Ugandan loves it. Then cassava. Cassava is good, guys, because you can store it for quite some time and it's very good breakfast. Quite heavy. Then mangoes. I find myself eating a lot of sweet mangoes, ripe mangoes these days. So I asked my husband to buy some for me. Of course, ginger for the steaming, for the tea, and for the immune system booster tonic. Then some garlic. They are very cheap up, up country in some nearby town. Then green peppers. More ginger this side, guys. And they are the native ones, the small ones. In the Philippines, we have the huge ones. Some oranges again, but this one is for just eating. More oranges. Carrots. And this one here is beans, the one that we always have for breakfast. Then cassava. And here we have the sweet potato. We can also store them for a long time, so that's a good stock in the house. Sugar cane. I grew up with this, this food. I used to eat them while walking when I was still young at school. Most of the times we get them for free because we have them in our front yard, but... Here in Uganda, you can buy them very cheaply as well. What else do I have here? More sweet potatoes and Irish potatoes, you guys. Irish potatoes is very good for soup. So, so we got a lot of stocks. And now I'm going to clean all of them. And here I have beef beef fat beef meat and some fat there so i make them for soup especially now that it's very important we have those um soup with ginger then inards of the cow i'm not sure which part of the cow is that but my husband is going to cook them as a soup Hmm, this one doesn't look pretty, you guys. I don't know what that was. That looks like a rug, but I bet it's nice for soup. So let's see. Okay, I think that's about it. Hmm. That one has a strong smell. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> All right, guys, I need to start cleaning. 
Okay, so these are some of those fruits and veggies that I already washed. Um, they are going inside the fridge, so it's very important that I wash them, make sure they're not dusty and dirty. And the rest of the fruits and veggies stays outside the house in the balcony, so I don't really need to wash them. But as you can see, there's so many, you guys. This, all of them can last us for two weeks to three weeks if I can fit them all in our small fridge. So, yeah. All right, guys. Now, I'll just go downstairs to send this bucket of hot water for shower to make sure that my husband showers the warm water and kills all the bacteria that he has from outside since the room downstairs doesn't have heater so it's just Okay, I'll just show you guys the ingredients of the home tonic or DIY immune booster. All of this can just be found in your kitchen. And we need honey, we need honey for this ingredient uh, for this recipe, but right now I don't have it, so I'll just mix it up tomorrow. So if you have this at home guys, it's a very good tonic. It's a very good home remedies. Or uh, it's also a DIY prevention is better than cure recipe. So yeah, I can't wait to make one for us. And we'll see. This is the meal I'm going to send to my husband. We have here the tinola with native chicken, moringa, bok choy, and cabbage with a lot of ginger on in the soup. It's best. The soup is, is amazing. Then some white rice, ginger tea, and some fruits. So I have to deliver it while it's still very hot. All right, guys, I'm done for today. It's the kids' bedtime at 8 p.m., but now it's already 9. But it's okay because they're just learning from home and it's going to be like um starting around 8 30 and it's just the time for us to have some ginger tea before bedtime so good night guys and once again for all those who watched and follow us thank you so much keep safe and we pray that you will all survive this pandemic bye and god bless